The story of Texas music continues with the Texas Cannonball. His name was Freddie King, and he inspired a host of American musicians, such as Steve Ray Vaughan and Eric Clapton. Rock and Roll Magazine rated him 25 on its list of the all-time guitar players. He's also a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Freddie King was born Freddie Christian in 1934 in Gilmer, Texas. When King was only six, his mother Ella May and his uncle began teaching Freddie guitar. In 1949, King and his family moved from Dallas to the south side of Chicago. There he grew up listening to blues men like Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf. In 1950, he formed his first band, the Every Hour Blues Boys. In 1952, while employed at a steel mill, he occasionally worked as a side man with bands such as the Little Sonny Cooper Band and Earl Payton's Blues Kids. In 1955, he changed his surname from Christian to King, supposedly to ride on the coattails of B.B. King. He signed with Federal Records in 1960 and recorded his first single, Have You Ever Loved a Woman? From that same recording session, King also cut the instrumental Hideaway. Hideaway was his first commercially successful song, reaching number five on the R&B charts and number 29 on the pop charts. After his success with Hideaway, King would go on to record well over 30 more instrumental songs over his career. After his contract with Federal Records expired, he went to Europe and toured with Eric Clapton and the Rolling Stones. Their constant touring eventually took its toll on King, who was frequently out on the road some 300 days a year. In 1976, he began suffering from stomach ulcers. Shortly before his death, Texas Governor Ann Richards declared his birthday as Freddie King Day in Texas, an honor only bestowed on two other artists, Bob Wills and Buddy Holly. Freddie King died later that year from pancreatitis at the age of 42. This next video features Freddie King performing his most popular song, Sweet Home Chicago, live and on stage in his hometown of Chicago. Noon. 